Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this time slice warp effect. It looks super trippy, so let me show you how to do this. So in my timeline to start off, I have this clip right here, which we are gonna add the effect on this middle clip right here. So I'm gonna select that. And to do this, of course, we'll be using SAF file. But if you have my preset pack, Essential Effects and Transition V2, you can just go over to User Presets, Essential Effects V2, and just add this preset right here, which is called Wave slice and it will already give you that look going on right there but in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to exactly do it from the like scratch so as i said we'll be using sapphire time slice it is really like an underrated effect i see a lot of people not using it i don't know why but it looks so dope then in here if you bring up the numbers like the slice number right here you can see we already have that look going on like it is that easy bro you ain't gotta do much to be honest like you can just play around with the numbers until it looks cool to you i like the like the horizontal direction but you can make it vertical if you like like this one if you like like this look but i'm gonna go for this vertical look right here because i think it looks really hard uh you can even uh, enable the input interrupt frames so it like adds some like motion blur kind of thing and it looks a little smoother for me so i'll always like check that on and you can see we already have that look going on but you can combine this fx with different warps one thing i like to do is combine it with a uh, optic compensation or a cc lens to give a lens type of effect on top of it like maybe something like this if you like this look you can see it looks super hard but it completely on you after this like you can do whatever you want before going more into the video i just want to let you guys know about the best preset pack out right now which is of course essential fx and transition v2 if you don't already know i dropped this pack a month ago and it is absolutely blowing up in the underground like every other vfx artist you see on the underground is using it because it comes with 40 plus best presets for your music video really easy to use you just add it on adjustment layer or a clip and you're ready to go as i said it comes with 40 presets and i actually went 40 out of 40 on this one like every single preset hits different and will surely go hard for your music video so yeah if you want to download it i'll link in the description as i said best pack out right now so make sure you don't miss out on it but let's just get back into the tutorial you can even mess around with something like sapphire warp waves and just like add it before the time slice and maybe i'm gonna disable the time slice for now and lower down the amount of course to around like really low 0005 i guess and bring up the frequency here and bring up the speed a little bit to around like two or some shit like that yeah bring up the bring down the frequency more yeah and then you can use like a time slice on it and it will give it like more displacement in there if you like that look so yeah you can combine like different methods in this to like enhance this effect for sure uh now i'ma show you how to use this as a transition so uh, right where it cuts right here i'ma just make a new solid i'ma make sure it is white color and hit ok and make it one frame right in your cut so we have this one frame flash looks real hard if you have my essential effects you can, you can always add something like a framer 3 which i really love it is like some framer effects instead of like this white solid if you have my pack you can always try this out looks real hard like trim it right here and you can see it is like some framer effect that helps to like transition to another clip so if you're going for that look i really recommend it it looks super hard i like to make it fade in so you can use something like a opacity keyframe for that like it flashes in and fades in right there but you know what looks good is uh adding an adjustment layer and, and using something like a sim puddle fade right here from essential fx v2 just line it up right here and you can see it gives that like puddle dark type of look this is one of the best puddles for sure i really love this like i really use this on my music videos myself and to end this off we're gonna copy this solid right here and put it right here and just visible it so it ends with a framer and now if i play it all through you can see we have this super cool effect going on so yeah that's how we do this like warp slice effect if yeah i guess we
we are done with this tutorial as well so if you like this video please consider the like button it was a short and quick and a saucy one and if you want more of this video just like subscribe to my channel or check out my channel because i have like 200 plus tutorial on my channel already that you can learn from you know what i'm saying go crazy and you can follow me on instagram join my discord server where you can like connect with different people in the same community but i'ma see you on the next one Peace.